Yes? My name is Marvin Grogan. They call me Monster. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Mrs. Stevens, I believe that was your husband who just left here in a car. That's right. Well, a woman named Liza Randall was seated next to him. I know that, too. Very, very next to him. Now that you mention it, it did catch my eye. Well, Mrs. Stevens, I don't know how disturbed you are, but it might interest you to know that I'm very disturbed. Well, I don't think there's really anything to be disturbed about. You'll pardon me if I disagree with you? One, Liza Randall is engaged to me. Two, we have a standing date every Saturday morning, which she broke to go shopping with her mother, which we both know she didn't do any such thing. Three, she's made it very plain that she's out to get your husband. Well, I really don't think it's that serious. Four, this is not the first time a situation like this has come up. You see, Liza has what you call a mother complex, only with fathers. <laughs> Five, what Liza Randall wants, Liza Randall gets, unless... Uh, unless what? Unless you can come up with a better suggestion. I have decided to break your husband in half. Uh, why don't you come inside, Monster? I think you're right. There's definitely something to be disturbed about. Once the preliminary sketches are made, can we get together with our copywriters and artists, see if we can improve upon them? Then, of course, we have uh, a photographic layout. Do many women pose for you? Well, for the photographers, actually. Your wife is very jealous, isn't she? Well, no more or less than any woman. Have you known many women? Liza, did you come down here to study uh, advertising techniques or to ask me a lot of personal questions that are none of your business? You're a very sensitive man. Well, you could say that, yeah. Sensitive men are exciting. They're so, so... Sensitive. Yes. Yes. Now, why don't we get into some examples of uh, overall composition? All right. Uh, would you like another stack of pancakes, Monster? No, thank you, Mr. Stevens. Eight or nine stacks are about all I can go. I ate all your sausage and bacon, too. I got a lot of hostility, I guess. Well, I'd rather you attack my icebox than my husband any time. You feeling better? Pretty good. Except that when I get emotional, I burn up an awful lot of sugar. I got a sweet tooth. You got any pie? Uh, yes, I think so. What kind of pie do you prefer? I'm very fond of apples. Well, it seems I recall a fresh-baked apple pie. <laughs> but I'm crazy about banana cream. Oh. Well, aren't you lucky? It isn't apple at all. But banana cream is pretty rich. So I try to stick with apple when I'm in training. <laughs> Which I'm not at the moment. <laughs> Half apple and half banana cream. Steven's specialty, monster. Enjoy yourself and let your conscience be your guide. Mm. Now, as you can see by this analysis curve, the public's taste changes with the times. It isn't enough for an advertising man to have imagination. He has to have a sympathetic eye and ear to what the public wants and what they need. <laughs> The product success depends upon its public acceptance, and that acceptance will depend upon an image created for that product by an advertising executive. Take clothing styles, for instance. Oh, a different designer dominates the field each year. Cheers. <laughs> then the public chooses one above all the others. <laughs> 